Ah, the devil saw me with my head down, and he thought he won until I said amen. He saw me down, my God, but not out. You may be down, but you're not out for the count. Hallelujah. Get up in Jesus' name. Pick yourself up by the grace of God. How many have ever been there taking a poll via YouTube? Now, I'm not saying this is a positive thing that happened to you, but it happened. Didn't it happen? Until you said amen, the words came out of your mouth. It could be Jesus, God, help. Amen. When you take one step, God takes two. When you take two steps, my God, he don't take three or four. He takes five he sees our faith. God's drawn to your faith like a magnet. Your faith becomes a magnet. Now listen to me. Don't always be concerned about increasing your faith like it's a dangling carrot in front of your nose. Romans says he's given every man the same measure of faith. Take the faith you have now and tap into the power of God that's available you for you. I'm sorry. And it'll give you the victory, hallelujah. Now, before I continue, if you're new, please subscribe. Also, Mondays, 9 p.m. I'm live. Today's Monday. My God, these live streams, are we're gathering. We are gathering. Now, we're not gathering in person, but Jesus said we're two or three are gathered. Or in the midst. I am in the midst. We're gathering in the name of the Christ. And then Thursday. 8 p.m. Mountain Moving Thursdays, Mountain Moving Zoom meetings, 8 p.m. The ID 513-302-8285. But how many of out there hit the amen button, the like, the thumbs up? If you thought it was over for you at one time or another, but I'm going to share with you in the book of Jude, hallelujah. Listen to this, guys. This is so powerful. Please don't turn this off. Jude chapter 1. Well, there is only one chapter in Jude. Verse 24 and 25. Here we go. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling. It's God that keeps us, that gives us the grace to stand, that gives us the strength, He enables us. And to present you faultless before the presence of of his glory with exceeding joy. One more time. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and present you faultless. My God, guys, you have to admit at this point, we do serve a good God. There are some things where you could scratch your head and be like, wow. But stop always trying to figure out what happened, what transpired, what happened. And I stopped figuring some things out. I don't know if we'll ever know the answers to some things that have happened to us, with us, on this side of heaven. Hallelujah. You just said on this side of heaven, Brother Rob. Hey, there's a lot of good on the earth because God is with us. God is good with an extra O. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 6 in verse 13, the latter part. And having done all to stand. Well, let me take it from verse 13. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Guys, I hate to break the news to you. I don't want to be a downer, but there's going to come an evil day in our in your life or my life. I don't wish it happened. I don't want it to happen. I don't want to see it. But, you know, every great man or woman of God will face May a major or two or three major trials in your life. And they're conspired by the enemy to take you and break you, but you're going to make it. You're going to withstand. Hallelujah. Why? Because to him who is able to make you stand. Now listen to this. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God. You'll be able to withstand any of the having done all to stand. Stand. Therefore, having done all to stand, stand. Just keep standing. Father, I strengthen my brothers and sisters' legs to stand. I 
strengthen their knees. The Bible says to strengthen the weak knees or the feeble knees. I strengthen their knees that they can stand in you. And they're, they're standing because you're keeping them standing by your grace and your power and your strength, your might and your dominion. The Lord bless you guys. Amen.